let's talk about the mega caps. Just because we haven't seen the likes of them before doesn't make them bogus. They didn't get their trillion-dollar valuations by fooling the most people. They got there because there was nowhere else for them to go but up. Something demonstrated once again this very evening with incredible reports from Amazon and Meta. And by the way, an extremely profitable report from Apple. Let me ask you a question. Is Microsoft supposed to trade at a discount to its valuation because it had $227 billion in revenues last year and $82 billion in earnings? How do you not give Alphabet a big valuation if it has $100 billion in cash and nearly $100 billion in earnings for interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization? You want to keep Meta down on the farm after clubs the estimates, both top and bottom line? What's a stock investor supposed to do? Just sell them because they're big? After a day when the Dow gained 370 points, SB jumped 1.25% and NASDAQ rallied 1.3%. We're faced with a confluence of events that makes it hard to value anything. I mean, the other day, Alphabet and Microsoft reported terrific numbers, yet their stocks were scorned. Today, though, Amazon and Meta platforms reported spectacular numbers, and their stocks caught fire in after hours trading, especially Meta, where business is so fantastic that they're going to pay a nice-sized dividend and a boosted buyback. We also heard from Apple, which had strong headline numbers, but China was not so hot, and China's what everyone seems to care about and focus on endlessly, and that's why the stock got dinged in after hours. Apple, I say even after a report that isn't as strong as that of the Chinese-deprived Amazon and Meta. Oh, and it don't trade it. It's constantly disconcerting to me that people complain about how something must be wrong with the market, given that a handful of tech companies represent such a preponderance of the S&P 500. I always come back and say, what are we supposed to do? Do we give them a haircut because they're so big and powerful? Like some sort of handicap? When they're up against underdog companies, should the, like those smaller players get extra points to make the contest better? This isn't draft case, for heaven's sake! There's no point spread in the stock market. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.